Hey folks, it's Ardwolf. Welcome. I have just returned from Origins 2021, which has been covered elsewhere on the channel. And waiting for me when I got home is this game, courtesy of Compass Games. This is Last Stand of the Moors of Granada, 1482 to 1492, by designer Jose Rivero and Compass Games. Now this is a thing I saw on a table at Compass Expo the last time I was there. It looks super interesting. My understanding is it's a similar system to the uh, game Sekigahara, which is very well regarded, except that this is about the end of the Reconquista in Spain. Um, this is a fascinating and under-treated uh, topic in wargaming, and it has been, uh, you know, my, what I would, I've been looking for a game on this topic for a long time, and Compass was kind enough to send me this. So, let's open her up and see what we get. First of all, we notice immediately, giant, thick, three-inch box, yes. I love three-inch box, because I can fit all the pieces back in the box. Um, and it looks like it's real solid, too. So let's open her up and see what we get. Super excited about this. Now, the, the, the pieces that I saw back in, you know, two years ago now were, you know, obviously playtest pieces and not final art pieces. So I'm also very curious to see what the final components look like. Thick walled box, very thick. We have two giant decks of cards. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say this is roughly 150 cards. I'm probably close to within 15 cards or so. Um, very attractive too. Looks like there are two separate decks. That's what it looks like. We'll, we'll see in a minute here. All right, we have two draw pouches. Um, presumably one of these are for the Christians and one of these are for the Moors. Um, we have a variety of blocks. And I've never played Sekigahara. I can tell you it's well liked, but I, I can't tell you anything other than that. We have these castle pieces, which look pretty cool and are quite fancy. I don't know what these, I don't know what the small blocks are, and I don't know what these wooden planks are. And then we have black and gray blocks. We have white blocks. They're all, they all look like Roughly the standard like uh, commands and colors leader si and 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 uh, artillery size of box. And then we have these round castles and some discs. So it kind of looks like there might be a lot of moving pieces in here. Um, set the box aside. We have a mounted board which we will look at in a moment. First, well, we're going to take a look at the rules. All right, uh, nice looking rule book. Really, by the way, let me let me ben mention this because for some reason I've been thinking this since I saw it. Really striking cover on this. Um, I I really like this cover. Um, team cover on the rule book. So let's put the put the bits and bobs back in the box for a second. Take a look at the rules. So we have a 28 page full color glossy paper, relatively small print, but there's a decent amount of white space, even if it's not white space. Um, it looks like we do get some explanation of what to do with all the various pieces. Um, it looks like there are armies and leaders and fleets. My expectation is that the game is probably not all that complicated. Okay, it looks like there's plenty of examples here, which is great. Here is the special rules, castle surrender cards... Really nice and evocative art on the cards, by the way. Um, there's some optional rules. So there's about 18 pages of rules, rules, a couple pages of optional rules, and then a bunch of designer's notes, which is always good to see. I don't see a comprehensive example of play. Ooh, this is nice, though. I don't see a comprehensive example of play, but there's any individual mechanical examples. Here is a historical section on the War for Granada, the last M Moorish kingdom in Spain. Uh, which falls in 1492, an, an auspicious year for a number of reasons. Um, but there's some historical notes on here, which is really pretty neat. Uh, and here are the, uh, some illustrations of the cards. All right. Looks like there's a Muslim deck, a Christian deck, a naval deck, and castle surrender cards. Okay. I am very interested to see how this plays. Here's a sheet of clarifications, which is on... It's one page, and here's an example. Um... It's on shiny paper for some reason. <laughs> um, looks like they have had a little clarification here on how to sticker that uh, initiative disc. Uh, we have, here is a victory points track. Here are some player aids. 
These look the same, front to back. There's another player aid that looks... Okay, so it is an 11 by 17 player aid with a conference map on the inside, which is quite nice. Um, on the back we have, looks like some mechanical summaries. So, hilariously, um, I have spent the entire weekend dealing with block games, and it's amusing that I had come home and find another block game in the mailbox. Uh, here are the stickers. They're very sharp. Um, it looks like these are the Muslim units, and these are the Christian units. Don't quote me on that. I might be not full of it. Uh, I don't know what these are, but it looks like these go on those little wood-colored planks. I'm not stickering anything until I know what I'm doing, because it's always hard to take the stickers off. Usually can be done, but... And then, of course, we have the two pouches, out of which I believe we draw the units randomly as, as they come out. Let's take a look at the map. Um, didn't notice who the map artist was. Uh, game artist Ivan Caceres. I hopefully am not mangling that name too badly, but, you know, I, <laughs> I might be deluding myself. Uh, so this is a six-panel map, uh, which means... No, I'm wrong. It's an eight-panel map. I have a slightly constrained space because just off camera, there's a bunch of nonsense. Um, so this is, you know, the southern part of Spain. Here's the, the Moorish Kingdom or Emirate of Granada. Um, and here is the surrounding area. Uh, so this looks really interesting and, and obviously way nicer than the playtest pieces that I saw a couple years ago. There's a track of some kind, an uh, impact track along the outside. There's a turn track over here as well. And we saw a victory point track um, in on one of the player aids. Uh, I'd say, that I believe the map looks really nice. Uh, it does say illustration Ivan Caceres here on the map as well, which is off off here so you can't quite see it there is a couple of holding boxes as well um, looks really nice let's take a look at the cards real quick I want to see them and these are in there we go they're in a a, a sticky together pouch rather than a shrink wrap so I shouldn't at least in principle, be able to get them back in. I am often wrong about this kind of thing. All right, so there's some kind of number matching mechanic going on here. So you'll see a couple numbers on the cards. Leon, Castile, Aragon, these are the Spanish kingdoms, other kingdoms um, that are around at the time and that are then unified in 1492 by Ferdinand and Isabella into the uh, what we now consider the Kingdom of Spain, which for many, many hundreds of years, uh, since basically since the Romans left, um, had been a patchwork of smaller kingdoms. Um, again, this is a fascinating period, fascinating topic that has not seen a lot of action or love from uh, at least American war game designers and publishers. Um, some of that might be limitations on sources that are in the English language as opposed to Spanish or, or even Arabic. Um, really, really evocative uh, card art, by the way. Um, I think this looks incredibly promising, um, and I am happy to have it in the queue of things that I would like to get to the table as soon as I can. Um, that you know, queue is a little little more congested than I would like at this exact moment, but but things are what they are. The the, the timing is interesting as well. Um, great looking game uh, in terms of graphic design and art. Uh, I think there's a lot to be pleased with here with Granada, Last Stand of the Moors, and I hope that the game itself. Um, holds up as well as the box art does. Uh, we'll try and get this to the table, maybe get to, get some uh, some more info on it for you if we can. Um, in the meantime, if you have enjoyed this, uh, please do give the video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to help support our Wolf Slayer, it would be greatly appreciated if you would check out the links in the video description to the Patreon, the Ko-Fi, and the merch store. Um, and again, if you've uh, enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, happy wargaming.